Have you ever heard of cervical cancer? Each year, around 300,000 women worldwide die from this cancer. And think about this. One in seven of these women experience a recurrence of their cancer. And these recurrences are often not detected in time, mainly because there are not many symptoms of this cancer. But what if I told you that a simple blood sample taken before and after cervical cancer treatment can be used to detect these recurrences before they've had the time to develop? Today, it's well known that human papillomavirus, which you would probably know as HPV, is the main cause of almost all cases of cervical cancer. The virus spreads mainly through sexual contact and actually up to 80% of all people will have had an HPV infection at least once in their lives. Normally, this virus is cleared by the person's immune system, but for some reason an infection can develop into cancer. Circulating tumor DNA is described as released cancer DNA circulating in the blood and it carries specific information on the cancer that it stems from. This gives us the opportunity to detect cancers at very early stages. By using a very sensitive method, we have already confirmed that HPV can be measured in the blood of cervical cancer patients. And we hypothesize that an increase in the HPV level of these women indicates an upcoming recurrence. And if we're able to confirm this hypothesis, we would have developed a new method to detect these recurrences much earlier than what's the case today. Cervical cancer affects so many young women with their whole lives ahead of them, and actually up to half of these women are under 35 years. It's therefore extremely important that we have a method to detect recurrences before they occur. By measuring HPV level before and after the treatment for cervical cancer, my hope is that we become able to save the lives of many women who would otherwise have had a recurrence of their cancer. And since HPV is known to also cause other types of cancers, this new method could be a lifesaver for many more people. Thank you.